Good morning. Today is Friday, April 25th, and we're going to get you up to date on what's going on in Doniana County. The Board of County Commissioners met earlier this week, and uh, they had about 21 items on their agenda. It was a fairly long meeting, went to um, early in the afternoon. Among those items were some proclamations. May will be Motorcycle Awareness Month throughout Doniana County. The entire month of April has been Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month, and the National Day of Prayer will be celebrated on Thursday, May 3rd, uh, and Doniana County will be participating in that as well. Also, uh, we got a tremendous presentation from David Lopez of the Mesa Valley Economic Development Alliance to talk about the value of industrial bonds in Doniana County and how they attract jobs and economic opportunities for us. Uh, so if you were unable to catch that meeting live or watch it stream live off our website, it is on our website. You can see it now. The uh, archive is up and it will air next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast Channel 20. If you look at today's bulletin, you're going to see on page two that we are looking for volunteer firefighters in Doniana County. We have a critical shortage, particularly in the areas of Anthony, Las Alturas, La Mesa, La Union, Mesquite, and Radium Springs. If you'd like to be a volunteer firefighter, please pick up a copy of today's bulletin or go to our website for so that you can get the link and go on and make your application. If you become a volunteer firefighter, of course, that's a good springboard into a paid firefighting position, and you get 80 hours of uh, absolutely up-to-date and uh, state-of-the-art training at our training center. So, uh, great opportunity for anybody out there who wants to serve their community. <clears throat> Also, in today's bulletin, you'll be able to see that uh, we sent a contingent last week to uh, Juarez and to El Paso for the U.S.-Mexico Border Leadership Conference, and uh, our county manager went, three of our county commissioners went, and there's a color photo there for that. Also, uh, Drug Take Back Day is featured in the bulletin today, and it's also going to be taking place this weekend. We've got multiple drop-off sites throughout the county uh, where you can take those unwanted or unused prescription drugs. Please never flush those down the toilet. That's really bad for the water system. Uh, but it's uh, this opportunity for drug take back, you can take them to any of these locations and they'll dispose of them for free. That program runs from 10 o'clock to 2. If you can't make it on this Saturday, don't worry. We've got a, a drop-off point in the Sheriff's Department lobby that's available to you all year long during business hours. Second half tax bills have been mailed and those uh, second half tax payments are due no later than May 10th. Uh, we're making it as easy as possible. You can mail those in. You can drop them off here at the government center. You can pay at the teller window. You can even do it by phone or over the internet, although there is a small fee for that service. We are looking for people to serve on our internal audit committee. We're also looking for people willing to serve on our housing authority board. All of the information about how to apply and the deadlines to apply is available on the website along with so much other information. So check us out there. And of course, if you're out and about tomorrow at the Farmer's Market downtown on the North End, the Animal Services Center will be set up for offsite pet adoptions from nine to one. They're also gonna be up at uh, Petco from 11 to three and at Tractor supply from 11 to 3 tomorrow. And then on Sunday, they're going to be set up at PetSmart from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. That's it. You're up to date. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you right here next week.